Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Sacred Body Studio. My name is Fabi. So this is a series to do morning yoga. You know, it's to you in the morning, do something to wake up your muscles, to feel less stiff. And you will feel great. Of course, if you can, you don't have time to do it in the morning, you can do it in the evening. But what we really wanted to you experiment is that even with five, ten minutes, the mo we mobilize our body, we stretch our body. It will be great for our joints, for our mobility. Again, our focus is not to get crazy flexibility unless you want it, but you need to train more and, of course, more days, more time. But if, for us, it's just to keep us mobile, to keep our joints, our spine in good condition, and our hips as well. So just 10 minutes, 15 minutes, but the thing is that you do something, you know what I mean? Like you don't stay like without doing anything, and then you have pain, and you have pain, but you don't do nothing. So just take 10 minutes, 15 minutes of your day, if it's in the morning, perfect, or in the evening, it's the same that you can stretch your body, that you can give it that mobility and, of course, flexibility to your muscles. So let's start. So we're going to lie down on our tummy this time. And again, these are short videos of 15 minutes for your home. But if you want to kind of have longer training, you say, like, oh, I feel really good, I can, I can do more, you can put one, play one after the other one. So then you have the full workout. Right, you ready? So let's start. So we're going to lie down on our tummy and we're going to bring our hands kind of in a diamond position and let the forehead rest on your hands. Let the head drop. Relax here and just gently we're going to press the hips on the floor and we're just going to rest here for a couple of breaths. Just bring the awareness into your breath and the most important concentrate in your spine. Feel the spine in the middle of your body. We hold for two more breaths. Just one more. And slowly we're going to raise our chest, our face. Bring your hands onto the ground, shoulders under your elbows, we look to the front and we just feel here the stretch in our tummy, muscles, feel the back extension, relax your shoulders, try to balance the weight between right and left foot and we hold, inhale deep and exhale, let's go for three and two And just one more. We bring your chest back onto the floor. We let the face rest on the left side. Bend the right leg. Catch your right foot if it's possible. You cannot right, right uh, sorry. You cannot catch your right foot. You can have a belt or a towel to help you. Now, when you hold the foot, I wanted to you just press the hips against the ground, very smooth, just to stretch your thigh. And we hold here for four breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. Two. And just one more. Now drop your foot. Move the, the face towards the other side. So let the face rest on your right side. Bend the left foot. Get your left foot and just gently. We're going to press the hips down. Inhale deep. And exhale. Let's go for three. And exhale. Let's go two. Exhale. And just one more. Now drop your foot, raise your torso. We come back to this position, swim pose. And then from here, shoulders above your elbows, curl the toes under, and we're just going to move our feet towards to the right side, just the feet, as far as you can go. So the legs will move to the side. And we're just going to feel here the stretch on the left side of the body. 
around your lower back and your hips and we're just going to hold here for four breaths. Inhale deep and exhale. Relax your shoulders. Let's go for three. And two. And just one more. Slowly move your feet back again to the starting pose and then we move them towards to the other side without changing your shoulders and your arms position just as far as you can go with your legs. And we hold here for four. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. And two. And just one more. Bring your feet back again to the starting pose. Let the chest go down. Hands go beside your chest and push your body up. Come all the way onto all fours. And we're sitting back onto child pose as far as you can bring your bum down onto your heels. Now bring your palms together. Bend your elbows. Move the hands just behind your head. We hold here for four breaths. Moving your weight onto your heels. One, two, three, two, and just one more. And drop your hands. Raise your torso, move your hands behind, hands on the ground. You can keep your feet on the ground if it's more comfortable. In case that you cannot go all the way because your bum cannot go down, just stay here and try to keep pushing the weight backwards to extend your thighs. If your hands are on the ground or your feet, we're just going to press our feet and the hands onto the floor to lift our hips as far as we can go just to extend our thighs, open our chest. We hold for four. And three, two, and just one more. And we release. We come back again onto all fours. And here we're going to do a little routine. We're going to slide the right foot backwards, lift the leg. Mm -hmm. Now bend the leg just beside the other one. And we over separate the legs like a lifting the knee up and we bring it down and repeat. Slide backwards, lift, dragging in, open and down. Again, slide backwards, lift, drag in just beside the other one and open to the side and down. Extend backwards, drag in, open, and release. Last one, extend backwards, in, open, and release. Now, same length, we're going to slide forward, and we're going to slide the left knee backwards onto pigeon pose. Here is just to stretch our thighs. And we're just going to lie down on your leg. You can bring your elbows on the floor to rest. And we're just going to hold here for four. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. And exhale. You can even bring one fist at the top of the other one and let the head rest. Just one more deep breath, everybody. Inhale and exhale. And slowly raise your torso. Come onto your hands under your shoulders. Move your hands under your shoulders. Or you want to go a little bit higher back again onto your fist. Lift your tummy. Press your feet gently onto the ground. To extend your legs and stretch your tummy. We hold here for four. Feel the stretch in your tummy. And three. Relax your shoulders. Two. Inhale. 
exhale, and just one more. Now bring your hand, move your hands onto the floor, and come back onto all fours position. We go to the puppy, so give me your hips above the knees. Just move your hands forward, let the chest go down, look to the front, and we're just gonna hold here for four breaths. One. And two. Three. Two and just one more. Come all the way up, back again onto child pose. Palms together, bend your elbows and move your hands just behind your head, kind of shark fin, and we hold it here for four. One. Two. Three and four. And we raise our torso. We're gonna come back to the to this one, but again, if you cannot go all the way or your bum still is not touching your heels, just stay here. And again, try it. Try it to do this routine every day, and you will see huge difference in your mobility. So if you can go all the way, fantastic. If you prefer to put your fist, it's okay. And we're just going to press our hands and our feet, lift the pelvis, and we land here. Feel the stretch in our thighs. We hold for four. Three. And two. And the last one. And we release. We're just going to come back again onto all fours. And we're going to repeat the leg movement. So we slide the left foot backwards, lift the leg, drag beside the other one, open to the side. And again, down, extend, back again, open, together. And extend backwards, keep your tummy engaged, bring in, open on the side, release. Last one, extend backwards, come in, open on the side. Good. And then the left knee slide forward, right one backwards. We're going to hold here in this stretch. Again, you can raise your hands on your head. You can put one fist on the top of the other one if you feel more comfortable. And we just hold here for four. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. Two. And just one more. And we raise our torso slowly. We come back onto a pigeon pose with the torso up. But you can keep your palms on the floor or just keep your face on the floor. Just elevate your tummy here. Press your feet on the floor. And we just hold for four. And three. Two. And the last one. So place your hands on the floor. Move yourself onto all fours again. We're just going to repeat the puppy to really extend our spine muscles. Keep the hips above the knees. Just move your arms forward. Palms on the ground. Let the chest go down. Keep your elbows straight. Look to the front. And we just hold here for four. One. Two. Three and four. Come all the way up, sitting back onto child pose, and the same position of your arms to stretch your arms as well. 
the tricep and we hold here for four. And three. Two. And raise your dorsal. And you can sit down on your bum. How do you feel? You feel good? Great. Remember these routines, you can do it every day. Doesn't matter. And as much as you repeat, as much, much as you will feel the mobility, the releasing of the muscles, and you will feel great. Thank you for joining us. And remember to like, subscribe, and follow us as well in Instagram as a Sacred Body Studio. Namaste. Have a lovely day.